but has been a whirlwind couple of days for Shirley Sherrod. She was wrongly branded a racist, fired from her job, and then yesterday came the apologies from the White House and others. Well, now she says she needs a little time to think. CBS News Chief Legal Correspondent Jan Crawford joins us this morning with the latest. This story will keep you on your toes, Jan. Oh, Erica, and you know what we saw yesterday? Something that hardly ever happens in this town, a flat-out, no-strings apology. Without a doubt, Ms. Sherrod is owed an apology. That sharp okay, about face came Wednesday uh, afternoon, employed. less than one day after Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack abruptly fired Shirley Sherrod. He had seen part of a speech she gave last spring to the NAACP, but that wasn't the whole speech or the whole story. You know, as it was unfolding, I, my whole thought was, this is so unreal. Vilsack apologized to Sherrod and offered her another job. I again, expressed my deep regret. Late last night, Sherrod responded. Yes, I was satisfied with it. In fact, I told him I appreciated the apology. The controversy started three days ago when the clip lit up the internet and cable outlets. In it, Sherrod reflected on her reluctance 24 years ago to help a poor farmer because he was white. But it turns out Sherrod didn't say anything racist at all. Her comments were taken out of context. They definitely didn't do the right thing because they didn't look deeper to see what I was trying to say to them. Her message in the speech was one of unity. She said she was wrong when she downplayed the farmer's request for help, and she ultimately helped him save his farm. Sherrod said the administration forced her out because it was scrambling to head off criticism from the conservative media, something Press Secretary Robert Gibbs acknowledged. We live in a, a culture that uh, uh, things whip around. People want fast responses. We want to give fast responses. But the controversy seems to show that on one of the nation's most complex social issues, race, the Obama administration reacted impulsively. We, we need to get this out in, in public discussion. We can't hide from it. And I'm afraid the Obama administration more often hides from it than confronts it. Now, Secretary Vilsack said he hoped Sherrod would come back to the department and work with them on civil rights issues. Erica. Jan Crawford in Washington. Jan, thanks.